last letters have been sent to your phone. You couldn't have figured that out? Ethan. I did what I had to, Sean. Your dad's coming to save you. Oh my gosh, so if Ethan dies, are we just gonna assume Ethan is the origami killer or are we gonna find out who the real killer is? Obviously it's not Ethan. That big ass dude came in there, popped Paco in his head and then beat down Jaden. Jaden, do your job, you're the FBI. Shelby is a PI, he's a private investigator, he worked by himself. You're the FBI, you've been hired by a company to do a better job. You're not even close. Yes you are, yes you are, you knew about Paco. Look at this dude working. We've got a few more hours left to save Sean Mars. There has to be a goddamn clue somewhere. It's probably staring me in the face. This kid's gonna die, and I'm going around in circles! You off some shit, my wife. All packed up and ready to go? What are you talking about? The investigation's over. We know who did it. No longer need your services anymore, Norman. So you can ride your files all the way back to Washington. I'd be lying if I said I was gonna miss you. You a bitch. The investigation isn't over. You have absolutely nothing on Mars. Mars is guilty. Case closed. Anyway, it's no concern of yours now. You're off the case. So pack up and fuck off. <laughs> so disrespectful. Blake. You are an unbalanced, psychopathic asshole. That hurt nobody. I'll take that as a compliment. Right? Honestly, I don't give a shit what you think. I found the origami killer. Everyone's happy. End of story. Have a nice trip back, Norman. That, that crackhead shit. You didn't even give me the option not to take it. The killer's name is here. Somewhere in this data. I just have to find it. Find it before it's too late. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you know what. It can be dangerous. I know what he said. Very dangerous. I know what you said, sir. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. That's why I didn't want him to take that just now. Get to the clues. Let's work fast. Get to the clues. Analyze. Two receipts from the same gas station. Might be near the killer's home. Okay, then let's geo-analyze. The killer lives in this zone. 342 people live around there. Not good enough. Gotta find a means of identifying the killer more precisely. Analyze. Ugh, oh, that doesn't get us anywhere. Ari was in record mode when I was fighting with the killer. Perhaps there's something on it. Oh, hell yeah. Watch that back right now. Man, play the clip. What up, McQueen? My nigga. Play the clip, dude. Play the clip, dude. I'm asking you to play it. Damn. What is this supposed to be telling me? That did nothing. Analyze the footage now. The sword was already in Paco's office. It's got nothing to do with the killer. That's the only clue that you have in, about this? Am I supposed to rewind it to a certain spot and like analyze what I see on the screen? I'll be so glad when this... I'm not gonna say that. 
Man, what is this? Gold watch. I'm sure I've seen this before somewhere. The watch they give for promotions to Lieutenant. The killer is a cop. We've seen enough now, right? I think we've seen enough. I think we've seen enough. Oh, wait, continue or give up? Oh, unless one of my clues is now the watch. What's that question mark over there? What's this right here? Looks like the killer is a cop. Carter Blake! That would explain the dead-end investigation and his desire to frame Ethan Mars. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Investigate further. There's only one cop in that geoprofiling zone. Gotcha. He owns a warehouse on the docks. If I'm wrong, Sean Mars is dead. Don't accuse him, don't accuse him. Not yet, not yet, play it cool. Look at him. Look at him. But he's not that big though. That's the thing. I I'm just staying with you, Scott. I don't want to go. Look, it'll only take a couple of days. Long enough to get this resolved. I can't just wait while you confront my son's killer. It's the only way to work. Trust me. Now go stay with your mother for a few days. I'll come and get you when this is all over. Tell me who the origami killer is. I want to know who killed my son. Listen, when I'm done, I'll tell you everything I know. I promise you. See this? I'm over. I'm over here thinking they, they father and daughter. They falling in love. What? I'll get help. Just hang on. Go on, hurry. I think the water's rising. I'm hurrying. I'll be right back. Oh gosh. Need to get help fast. John's gonna drown. John's gonna drown. No, he's for sure gonna drown, regardless. Gotta find someone. The water's still rising. John won't be able to hang on for long. This place is completely deserted. There's no one around to help. Yeah, your brother's your brother's screwed, bro. We both know that. Mom's work is too far away. I'd never make it in time. Yo, Dad. Dad, I've got to get Dad. He's the only one who can see. Dad, Dad, it's John. He, he found your butt. Oh, get coming. out of here, you little pest. 
Wait, 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 wait. Oh, oh. Come, Dad. Come on, John's gonna die. John's gonna die. Well, that'll be one less greedy mouth to feed, won't it? Go what are you doing? Please, Dad, I'm begging you. John's gonna die. John's gonna die, Dad. Why are you Scrap. I would have just grabbed this bottle and, and ran with it. He he would have got up then. I would have went boom gang, whole lot of gang shit, then I ran tried, to the pipe. John. I really tried, but he wouldn't come. Please don't die, John. Please. <laughs> don't. Don't forget about this guy. Scotty? 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 S Scotty as in Scott Shelby, y'all? Damn! This was his brother. So if this is your brother, if this is your brother, He's burning all the evidence. My gosh. This nigga Shelby is the origami killer. in there and acted like nothing happened. He's only doing this to cover his tracks. This nigga faked like he was a police officer to go around and get as much info as he could. This is his mother that he hasn't seen in months, years. Oh, wow. He probably blamed her for his, for his brother's death.
I don't know what to say anymore. I was not expecting that. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit, I was a little bit, as soon as that gold watch showed up on the screen, I was like, huh? I should have informed the police, but I have no proof. Just the statement of an old woman who's lost her memory. The moment of truth. If Ann Shepard gave me the right name, the origami killer lives here. Wow. The killer might be here. I better be careful. You're a real criminal. What? Dude. Shelby? Really, bro? Man, come on. Yeah, I lost your touch, girl. Why is that a skill of yours? Where do you be going? Who be locking you out? I'm gonna be in deep shit if the killer comes back while I'm searching his apartment. Well, let's be quick then. This nigga the Shelby. The killer's apartment. There must be something that'll tell me where Sean Mars is. So that means Shelby walked into that. I'll go through it room by room, but there's bound to be some kind of clue. Be quick. We gotta be quick. You scrolling way too slow. Now hold on. He got a gun in this one though. Stay strapped. Don't be foolish. He got a gun right here. Yep. Keep that on you. Grab it, you dumbass. He used to be a cop. Probably knew exactly how an investigation would be carried out. Oh, they want me to, uh... That's where the smell of burning comes from. Evidence going up in smoke. Yep. Yep, I knew it. I knew it. A cop's uniform. Always trust a cop. That's why children went with him. He was dressed as a cop. Oh shit. What is this? This man Shelby is a real weirdo. No, he just about back here planting some tree. This man really back here growing, growing bud. Shel this is where he cultivated the orchids that he left on the chest of his victims. Never mind. Sean Mars, oh, the lunatic's been watching him drown. But it's some kind of a shit. It needs a password. Dude, we're not gonna know it. Stop. It's searching. Oh, he's talking about his own parents with that. Because I think his mom was at church. And when they came back, or something, I don't know. Looking for a password. Why is he real? But we're game. We're, we're, we're graphic and he's a real life human. Dude, we need a password ASAP. Oh, you say we was gonna check every room? Let's check every room. 
You don't have no patrolman? <laughs> Maybe it's under his bed, by his nightstand. We really made Ethan drink that shit to save his son. Well, we probably could just find a password real quick and stop it from happening altogether. Knock on the door. Is it solid? It's solid or what? It's solid. Really? Is he here or something? What's going on? Maybe the password is, is on his desk. Don't zoom in on the box like that's something valuable for me to know. Okay, come on now. Just, just start putting in nonsense. You about to get locked out. So you found my little secret? It's over, Scott. All those children killed just to find a father capable of saving his son? Shut up! You don't understand. There's one child left. There might still be time to save him. Let him go. Do what your father couldn't do. Get in there. Um, I won't be able to breathe for much longer. A few minutes at most. For real? <laughs> what are you doing? Reading Braille? Make something happen. Make something happen. Ah! Ah! Man, come on, man. What are we really doing right now? Okay, I'm trying to play the game, but y'all y'all making me cough. There it is. Watch it be an action button and I die. Go, what are you waiting on? Wait, hold on, hold on. You can't grab no clues real quick? There's nothing to grab in here to take with you? Nope, just time to leave. It's time to leave. I'm sure he didn't, I'm sure he didn't hear you slamming doors. Or slamming a damn. Nope, nope, we gotta go out through the front. Or oh, what's going on over here? Oh my god. A gas can right in the flames. The whole place is gonna blow up. Um, okay, turn some water on. What do, what do y'all want me to do? Take a bath, bitch? What is that? Okay. Wet clothes will give me a better chance of surviving. Okay, that's fa fair enough. Now all of a sudden you're a boy scout? <coughs> man, come on, man. Get your ass in there, man. What move is that? Oh. Looks like you're trying to hit like a cat daddy or something. Okay, go for it. Yeah. Make moves, make moves. 
Bro, uh, bro, I'm stomping it out, though. What's the point of that? Oh, I'm supposed to, oh, I'm supposed to climb across like this. Oh, it's a, it's a, it's a smash, it's a smash old one. It's a smash old one. There you go, there you go. Now make moves fast before that shit get on fire and you burn up and blow up too. Okay, come on, Madison. How did that hurt you? Way too high. I'll kill myself if I jump. I gotta find something else. Don't jump then. Interesting. Interesting how that just happened out of nowhere. Madison, we gotta go through the front door with it. I know you're scared. I see it. This is literal hell. It's way too high. I'll kill myself if I jump. I gotta find something else. Then don't jump. Why are y'all asking me to jump if she's saying herself that she can't do it? This man Shelby is a rogue. A rogue. Y'all know what he is. Okay, circle it. L1 it. R2 it. Jump for it. Square it. Go out the front door. Or can you go in the kitchen first? Shit, why not? What's the worst that can happen? I'm gonna die? You got, you got snacks in the fridge? You gonna hide in here? What are niggas doing right now? <laughs> I'm gonna just leave. If I would have walked out the front door, if I would have walked out the front door, I guarantee that smoke would have flew up in my face and then I would have exploded. Just like it happened every time I opened up a window. I think I did the right thing on accident, but y'all heard me, I was about to, who is this? Macaulay Culkin, get off my screen right now. This looks like a friend of mine's kid. <laughs> what up, Jack? Oh, that was Sean. That was Sean. How long has this been recording? Sean! 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 Sean's done for if I've got the address wrong. I've been looking for a long, long time. Looking for a father that would be able to do what mine could not do. Damn. Sacrifice himself in order to save his son. <laughs> Oh, I searched, searched, searched. Wow. And then, I remembered you.
all those murders just to find a father capable of saving his son. Just to find a father? Do you have any idea how it feels to be a worthless nothing in your father's eyes? Believe me, I've suffered just as much as my victims. I finished your damn trials. Now give me back my son. He's there. All you have to do is open that grate. There's a lock on it, fat ass. Oh, this is some. This ain't gonna work, Ethan. Gotta open this goddamn grate. Gotta find something fast. Okay, okay. I'll get you out of there, Sean. Um, we need a tool. We need a tool. There we go. There we go. Somehow you're gonna have to pry it open. Pop the lock. There you go. Pop the lock. Look at Sean just looking at me, not saying one word. Oh, unless he's like frozen. He probably got that hypothermia. Okay. This ain't gonna work, bro. Did it work? Oh, it worked! Look at his poor son! I'm smashing circle, y'all. I don't know why he do that. I'm gonna smack myself in the chin doing that. I'm trying to save a Sean. Oh my gosh, come on now. You gotta kill him. You gotta kill him, Jaden. You gotta kill him right now. Ooh! We got this. 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 Come on, Jaden. Come on. Uh-huh. Good move. Block his head, bud. Square it. Knee him in the gut. Okay. There you go. Knee him in the gut. Like I said. Damn! Nope. You missed. You missed again. Stop it. Why are you getting all this trash from? Oh, we're on a conveyor belt? Jaden, throw something back. Dude. Oh, I blew it. Don't help me, son, please. Oh, this game doing breathe. the most right now. Gotta breathe. If this dude don't live. Oh my gosh, come on now. Don't leave me. Sean, don't. Don't leave me. Is this, is Sean dead? Is Sean dead? Y'all, yeah, so that's what Quantum <laughs> Dreams is telling us right now, that Sean still dies. <laughs> Is that what y'all are really telling us, Quantum Dreams? Even his father. Sean, listen. 
you are the best thing that's ever happened to me in my life. I want you to know that whatever happens, I love you more than anything in the world. I, I'm not dead. I took the poison an hour ago, and I'm not dead. <laughs> Make sure it could just be late effects. Oh. Oh. Come on. X. 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 Oh. Come on. I like that. Come on. I like that. Okay, Jaden. Okay, Jaden. Oh, damn. How come he has way better weapons than you? Oh, come on. I'm gonna save him because he saved. I'm gonna help him because he helped. What's his name? Oh, dirty motherfucker. Now you gotta die. Now you gotta die. I was gonna save him because he didn't kill Sean. I mean, Ethan. But now he gotta die. Make something happen. Make something happen. Damn! That same bar he tried to kill you with saved your life. I see y'all quantum. I see y'all quantum. I see y'all quantum. That was clean. Wow. Wow. I'm gonna assume this is the good ending. <laughs> Everybody's still alive. I did my job. Hear my voice crack? At 24, still going through puberty. My feet so dirty. I'm sure Ethan's are too. All right, I got, I got, I got something I want to say when this is all said and done, bruh. How is this gonna conclude? Conclude the game already. Conclude the game already. There was general relief this morning when the police announced that they had found Sean Mars alive more than four days after his disappearance. Mars had been imprisoned in a well by the man known as the Origami Killer. The successful resolution of this case was made possible only by the bravery of Ethan Mars, who the police believed at one point to be the killer. Stupid it was no ass. doubt due to his great courage and tenacity that he succeeded in foiling the plans of the Origami Killer. The police commissioner presented him with an official apology today <laughs> on the main headline today. It is reported that the police have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Scott Shelby, 48, is a former police lieutenant who claimed to be a private eye hired by the families of the killer's victims. So foul. Shelby was killed during a massive police operation, but further details have not yet been released to the public. Interesting. Let's just say a friend of a friend let me jump in line. If we like it, it's ours. Hey! 
That's so cold. His own wife tried to set him up and get him thrown in jail instead of hearing him out like Madison did. Madison, you a writer. Hey, Dad! I think I found my room! <laughs> the corner of this big Whoa. ass. What do you think? I'm not gonna flame it. It's perfect, Ethan. Better than my room. We'll be able to forget what happened. We'll lead a normal life. And one day, it'll all just seem like a bad dream. And one day, y'all gonna make him a brother? We've earned the right to be happy now, Ethan. All three of us. <laughs> wow. And there's no more rain. I know y'all caught that too. <laughs> Our guest today is on the cover of today's Man, World Magazine clue. this week. Conclude. And has been hailed by the whole nation as a new hero for our times. Astonishingly, he almost single-handedly ended the sinister series of killings by the man known as the Origami Killer and saved the life of young Sean Mars. His determination, courage, and intelligence have <gasps> won our admiration. Norman Jaden. Good. Good job, Jaden. We're proud of you over here. Are you just showing us what happened with everybody, or what? Stop taking that, dude. You gonna kick your addiction now, or what? Yeah, where is Shelby at? Or, or, or Blake, Blake, show me Blake. Man tripping out. This is probably the trippiest shit I've ever seen if I was him. Okay, so he's having withdrawals, all crackheads do. So what? Come on now. Wow, I forgot about her. She got hoed. She got- you killed my son, Scott. She got fucking hoed. Were you thinking about that when you held me in your arms? I don't know why you did all this. Nothing can justify it anyway. I feel nothing but contempt for you. Nothing but contempt. Damn. Spit on your grave. I ain't ever actually seen somebody do that before. That's pretty disrespectful. And that concludes Heavy Rain, right? I want to see them again. I'm a father too. All right, all right, 
all right, all right, all right. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, that's a good moment, don't get me wrong. So, so the things that they did right, in heavy rain, I like the uh, I like the amount of choices. I like the way that they offer the choices. It's not so much like choose this or choose this. It's almost like 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 you hear the thoughts of both sides in the character, and then you make a decision based on that. I think that's pretty cool. The action sequences where it's just like the action timing buttons, flicking the stick, on the controller. <laughs> uh, it kept me on edge. A lot of the times that was happening, I was freaking out and panicking. But I'm sure that's what y'all wanted. So good job with that. But the story was like, uh, that could have been, I don't know, I don't know. This was the first like decision based game of its time though. I think this was the one that even introduced the idea of like players making decisions that affect the rest of the game. So being like the OG, you gotta respect that. Cause like, yeah, you just got to. You just got to. Even if somebody do it better later on, like they they inspired off of what you did. A lot of respect for Heavy Rain. Shelby being the killer, I didn't expect that. But at the same time, when when that big dude showed up and like he was fighting with what's his name, in my mind I was like, this kind of looked like Shelby. But I didn't say anything because like Shelby was still trying to solve the murder, and I didn't want to say it then and then like. You know, the whole rest of the hour and 30 minutes we played this, y'all was like, I think it showed me too. I think it showed me too. I kept it to myself until I saw the gold watch. Then I was like, okay, it's starting to make sense now. But they should have done more with that. Like they, they showed you who the killer was and then you immediately killed him. I don't know. I fuck with the game though. It was cool, but I probably won't be playing this ever again. But if y'all want to see what other decisions could happen in this game, what I can do is react to a video where it shows all the possible endings and decisions, how they, how the different decisions affect whatever, whatever. Uh, we can do that. Let me know in the comments if y'all want to see that. Uh, but I think the next decision game that we playing, we're going back to Telltale, Wolf, The Wolf Among Us. That's going to be the next game that we play. But I'm also going to play Bioshock Infinite. Oh, let me make sure I, I shot the homie out because he's the one who put me onto this. The homie, David Mason, David Mason. Yo, Guns N' Roses, bro, what's up? What's good with you, bro? The homie said that uh, Bioshock Infinite is great story, great gameplay. That's all I'm looking for. I need some horror. What's a good horror game? I need a gaming PC, honestly. Um, but yeah, Heavy Rain, there you have it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this playthrough, please give it a thumbs up. Truly appreciate it. If you are new, please subscribe for more videos. And as always, I love each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Hey, time for breakfast. <laughs>